Rightio, so metaballs, right? We've created them here before on the channel. You've got the two circles, you've got two more circles, and you link them up so they flow smoothly together. They look awesome, but they're not the easiest and the quickest things to create. But in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and quickest way to create metaballs in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, you're watching Gdanski, the place to be to develop your creative skills, and in this video, we're gonna learn the quickest and easiest way to create metaballs all in Illustrator. So, this is amazing, it's using scripts. If you've never heard of scripts or used scripts before, they're incredibly easy, and they can really open up what you can create in Illustrator. So, we'll jump to the screen now and get started. Right here, so we're now in Adobe Illustrator, and I've got a new artboard, 1920 by 1080. And up here in the top left corner, we have the locations where you're going to want to install your scripts for Windows and Mac OS. But let's wind it back a minute, we need to get some scripts. So if we switch over to the website, I'll link this in the video description. This was created by someone called Hiroyuki Sato. There's lots of different ones. We're gonna focus on this one here, Metaball Arc. And you can download the zip folder here, click that to download, and then you're going to want to extract those files from the zip folder. So on Windows, you might right click and click extract. On Mac, you just double click and it will unarchive it. Essentially, those files are contained within that zip folder and you wanna bring them out. Okay, so once you've got those files, you should get something that looks like this. So this is the contents, lots of different .jsx files. As I mentioned, we're gonna be focusing on Metaball here. And if you're on Mac OS, you can see I've gone into my applications folder, Adobe Illustrator CC 2019. We then have presets, ENGB. And then what else do we have? Scripts. And there we go, you can see I've placed it in here. So the reason that it's worth placing them in here is because if you use them just straight from Illustrator, you can use it once and you have to kind of keep going back to the JSX file. If you add them into this folder, every time you boot up Illustrator, they will be there, they will stay inside. So this file structure is at least how it looks for me on Illustrator CC 2019. I don't know if that's gonna change if you're in a different part of the world, but essentially, go to presets, find your scripts folder, that's where you're gonna want to put them. Okie dokie, so let's jump back into Illustrator and I'll show you how to install the script and then we can just get started. We'll get to the fun bit in a minute. Okay, so we're back in Illustrator now and you can see we've got the file paths up here for PC as well. I'll leave those up there just as a reference if you want to. And we go to File, down to Scripts and select Other Script. And we can click on one of these scripts and then we can do our thing, but that's a really manual way of doing it. So as I said, if you put them in that scripts folder, they will then be added to the four defaults that are already listed here, and you can see Metaball Arc, that will stay there forever. So it's definitely worth taking the time to just pop them in that folder, you're good to go. Okay, let's get on to the fun stuff. So if we grab the ellipse tool, and we'll left click and hold shift, it's important to hold shift to make sure it stays as a circle and doesn't skew out of shape. So we'll make one circle, and what I'm gonna do is just swap the fill and the stroke, maybe thicken up the stroke here, so you can just see how this works. So we've got one circle, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and just drag this, we'll go over here. And I'll make this a bit bigger, again, holding Shift. So I've got two circles. This is the cool bit. We're gonna drag over both of these and go to File, down to Scripts, and we're going to select our Metaball Arc. And we get a little window that pops up here. And of course, we're gonna check Preview and you can see it joins the gap between them. It is literally that simple. Now you can have draw extra circles and what it will do is it will show you and create the circles that you would normally use. That's the old way of doing it. You'd have like the circles and you'd create more circles. But we're just gonna keep that turned off and we can adjust the center angle. So I could bring this down. And with preview checked, you can see in real time how it changes. So we could go for something a bit straighter gradually adjust that curve, go for something super extreme, that it folds back on itself into another circle. This is crazy. This is gonna save you so much time if you love creating this. We'll click OK. And we'll take this one, we'll throw it down here in the corner. Let's go and create another one, this is fun. Okay, so circle, hold shift to create. Let's do three circles. We're gonna do three. We'll make them all different sizes. Select all three, go to File, down to Scripts, select Metaball Arc. Let's have another go. 
check preview. And you can see it joins all of them up. And we can again draw extra circles. This kind of gets a bit crazy, so I like to leave this off, but you can just see how they all connect together in real time. So I might go for 85.3 for no specific reason. Click OK, and it creates this. So this is great, but what do we do next? How do we create this into a really cool looking meta ball? Well, this is easy. We go and drag over everything to select it. Now, if you are on an older version of Illustrator, perhaps CS6, and you don't have your property inspector here, just go to Window, down to Pathfinder. You'll see it pop up here. Essentially, these options here are the same as the options down here on the more recent versions. So we're just gonna select the top left option, which is Unite, and it will unite all of those into a single shape. It's that easy. Now, you can do it another way. Let's just undo that. You can also select everything and then grab the Shape Builder tool over here on the left. And if you hover over just inside one segment, you can click and drag. And as you drag through into different segments, it will become highlighted with a red border and it will show you what will be combined into a single shape. So we've dragged through everything now. It then merges that into a single shape. So Shape Builder tool, really, really cool. Now let's do this more complex one here. We'll drag over everything. We're going to shape builder this all the way through. So you can see the Pathfinder panel is sometimes a little bit quicker than having to manually drag through every section, but using the shape builder tool does give you a little bit more control if you need it. But there we go, we're all done. And we've created that. So sometimes you will get these little oddities appear, especially if you make something really crazy. Now, this is quite hard to see what this is because I've added this 10 pixel stroke weight. If I press Command or Control Y, however, I can go into outline mode. Now, outline mode is essentially like a styleless wireframe of what you've created and is essential, really, for fixing problems like this with paths. So this is a bit of a weird one, and I'm going to grab the direct selection tool and we'll select all of these random anchor points that have appeared here and just press delete and we'll do that again. So it's really a case of trying to figure out where the problem has occurred. You can see something has gone a little bit strange here, but with the direct selection tool, I can just isolate all of those different anchor points and just select them, hit delete or backspace, it removes them. And then it kind of streamlines it to this. It's not the perfect curve. Um, it takes a little bit of experimenting with this tool, but there we go, we've created that shape. I don't know what that shape is, but you get the idea. You can you can create these beautiful metaballs, you can add color, you can add gradients. We could go and add like a, a freeform gradient. If I grab the gradient tool, oh, let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Let's add something over here, swatch panel. Come on, let's add some more gradients. Oh, look at that. I mean, it, it looks, it's, it's terrible. It's a, it's a weird shape with some questionable color choices, but there we go. You, you get an idea of the kind of thing that you can create using this. So yeah, go crazy and have fun. And there we go. That's the script you're gonna to want to use if you want to quickly create metaballs all in Illustrator. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, but if you've got any questions or comments, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.